Hello everyone, I hope you are well. In today's video, we will see how we can generate documentation for the code using ChatGPT. If you are new here, I am Asan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any question, comment down on this video. Watch this video till end because I am going to give you a bonus about ChatGPT. So don't skip it and watch till end. Let's start today's video without any further delay. So first of all, open ChatGPT. I have opened mine and you should have some code so you can generate documentation of that code so i have a university project which is called the chain smokers problem i'm going to copy it you can also get it from internet also i will give you the link of this code a github repository of this code so i'm going to copy it and paste it right here so you have to first of all type a prompt here so you have to do exactly what i'm doing right now generate documentation for the code below you should include detailed instructions to allow a developer to run it on local machine so here is a prompt and you should have the code here right uh, below over the prompt so now let's see what we what it gives us i'm going to press enter here so guys here is a answer of the JGPT here Let's go through the documentation which it generated. So if you see the prompt right there, uh, we asked that you should include detailed instruction to allow a developer. So it generated the documentation with respect to a developer. So you can see that it tells you the usage, how, do we, how we can run this program. It also tells us that we can use GCC compiler. It is a compiler in Linux. You can easily install it on your Linux or, or any Linux distribution. So here is the compiler name. Then this is the object name. And this is a code file in which we have this code right here. And this is LP thread which tells us that this program is using threads. And we have to add this flag while running this program. Furthermore in functionality it tells us that what is this program doing actually. It tells you the scenario happening in this code detailed and a very structured way you can also ask ChatGPT to explain this code so you just have to type explain what the code does let's see what it gives us so here is the explanation it told the explanation a little bit in the functionality but it explained it in a detailed way after i entered this prompt so it's actually doing the same thing in the functionality but in a structured and a more detailed way it's telling you that what are the semaphores doing here like for example more needed and match paper and tobacco these are the semaphores in the code here you can see that these are the semaphores and it actually telling us that what these are doing and what is the purpose of using semaphores in the chain smokers code you can actually search for the chain smoker problem and you can easily understand what is happening in this code and why we are making these types of logics so let's move to the next prompt which is to check for the vulnerabilities in the code so you have to just type here list vulnerabilities that exist in the code i'm going to press enter and see what we get so here are the vulnerabilities that chatgpt mentioned here there are total seven and these are race conditions, lack of input validation, lack of error handling, lack of resource cleanup and system call usage. Last one is lack of threat safety. So now we have the vulnerabilities given by ChatGPT, and therefore we should optimize our code with the help of these vulnerabilities because we have identified these vulnerabilities. So now let's ask ChatGPT to modify the code and remove these vulnerabilities so you have to type here optimize the code above and remove all the above mentioned vulnerabilities and i'm going to press enter and let's see what we get so guys here is the result that gave us first of all it mentioned the instructions how to remove the vulnerabilities and then it provided the modified code to optimize the code that was written above it couldn't complete it because this is a free version of ChatGPT and it has limited tokens for words therefore it couldn't complete it but you can complete it by giving chunks of code so it can modify that code modify that part or optimize that part without any limitations of the tokens furthermore you can actually format the documentation which was generated first right here you can you can see that these are the headings description dependencies usage and functionality but you can give your heading names and ChatGPT will just generate that documentation for that code which you will give and you can modify that code with the documentation and you can also ask ChatGPT to describe it more deeply and with more details
so this was all about today's video in the next video we are going to see how chatgpt can execute sql queries i will type the queries and chatgpt will act as a interpreter or a compiler and it will give us the result of that queries which we can also get by running in the sql console so if you like the video click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when i publish the video thank you guys for watching